So we're telling you about all the regulations that have been put in place in just the last 18 months. The solution for violence, ban guns. Uh, toy safety, regulate yard sales. Can't, can't have yard sales anymore. Remember Operation Resale Roundup we told you about? Nobody else reported on it. We said it was a big deal. Your yard sale is being regulated. And now every private transaction over $600 annually, you have to fill out a form for the IRS. That one was tucked into the health care bill to raise 17 to help pay for the health care. If I sell something for $600, I have to now report it to the, excuse me, private transactions? San Francisco now wants to ban pets because, well, you can't sell pets because too many people just don't know what they're getting into. Georgia, Georgia cited, uh, oh, this is not Georgia, this is Georgia, cited a man, we told you yesterday, for growing vegetables, growing vegetables on his own property and then giving them away. Starting next year, California begins imposing strict efficiency standards on big screen TVs. You're not going to be able to get a TV like this or even smaller in California because it's too big and uses too much energy. Jeans, baggy pants, banned. Georgetown, San Francisco, they also want to ban Happy Meals at McDonald's because, well, you, you're marketing to kids. They want the toy. And by the way, there's a recommendation out now by the Institute of Medicine that there should be no fast food zoning. Just like no gun zones, no fast food zones around school. They'll just keep pushing them out farther and farther. Out of the food deserts. The FTC has now begun to regulate bloggers. Why would you do that? It's not freedom of speech. No, no, no. They just, they just want to regulate them a little bit. The Department of Labor has cracked down on unpaid internships, saying they are tantamount to ex exploitation. So now they just won't get any experience. In Michigan, a group of home-based uh, home daycare providers were allegedly forced by government union officials to pay union dues when they're not in the union. And here's another story. If you don't view through the lens of modern-day progressives, redistribution of wealth, global government run by elites, and things are unsustainable, and you're Homer Simpson, You'll completely shrug them off. An Oregon senator has proposed a tax credit for breastfeeding because, you know, they just want mothers to, you know, keep their children in their healthiest community. Uh, uh, healthy. Yeah. yeah, I'm sure they do. Nothing wrong with breastfeeding. Nothing at all. My wife and I both agree it is the best thing for the child. But we choose. Now, instead of just relying on the power of persuasion to get people to breastfeed, instead, of using any kind of alternatives, special interest groups have resorted to embedding this in the tax code to nudge you. Not only that, there will be a new regulation added, a performance standard for breast pumps, and mandatory for employers to now provide break time for breastfeeding. So they've made the breast pumps more expensive because now there has to be more testing on them and standards have to be higher. Now I'm sure it's just a coincidence. But do you remember one of the stories that kind of stuck out to us about a year or so ago? It was tucked into the health care bill. There was an excise tax on medical devices such as wheelchairs and breast pumps. No one could figure that one out at the time. But now that you know it's about redistribution of wealth and global government and you're Homer Simpson and I'm going to challenge, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put you in a little, uh, little maze like a rat and tell you exactly where to run, now it makes sense, doesn't it? No, that was just there to help care, uh, help pay for the health care plan. All right. Is the United States and the United States Senate full of really overzealous pro-breastfeeding activists? No. No. Is the United States? No. So who's the driving force behind this one? Well, it is the Center for American Progress, a George Soros organization. Center for American Progress. They heavily promote breastfeeding as a healthier option. Why? Well, because, you know, Homer Simpson over there. They're, you know, that's Homer. He's not going to correctly choose breastfeeding. And we're getting obese like Homer. And so that's why they're banning all the foods. Quote, Americans need to make healthier choices. And they believe breastfeeding can prevent obesity. The big issue here is not about breastfeeding. It's their solution. It's always the same. It's to... Nudge you, Cass Sunstein, treat you like a rad, uh, lab rat, 
trick you into the perceived better choice. So the breastfeeding bill comes directly from the Center for American Progress. Higher prices on breastfeeding pump machines, breast pumps, you, well, you may not have the money, so you, you'll just make the other choice. It's all to fight obesity. Well, who else is fighting obesity besides the American Center for American Progress and Cass Sustine? Yeah, Michelle Obama. It's really weird because she is right in line with this report. This report says obesity can be prevented by increasing the availability of healthy food options. That's what Michelle said. That's where we get the replace butter with apples idea. They say eating patterns, that means put the carrots in front and the fries on special order, which is weird because it's in here and in here. And Michelle Obama came up with that all by herself. Cultural attitudes around body weight and collecting data on kids' BMI for the preventative reasons. So in other words, they're saying, make sure every kid gets BMI. Get their BMI. This weird because Michelle says she started to fight childhood obesity because her doctor told her that her kids were out of balance and needed their BMI checked. Coincidentally, these guys all say the same thing. America, there are years ahead of us. Years. Because we didn't believe anyone would believe this stuff. They knew you wouldn't believe it, so you'd never see it coming. The Center for American Progress is designing the structure for your future life. This is the first wave now coming onto shore. Progressives are trying to improve your choices by taking your choices away. And there's a history to it, and that's next.